guys. My name's Captain Scott. That's Jeremy Chase. Um, if you got any questions during this, after this, I'm going to be here for three days. I got a booth upstairs. Feel free to come by. If I don't have an answer, I'll tell you I don't have an answer. I'll find it for you. I'm like you guys. I'm trying to learn too. Um, this session here, I'm doing five sessions. The one we're doing tonight is the most important in my opinion. I get a lot of people that email. I had a guy call me from California today. I get a lot of people call me or email me or message me or when they get on the boat when I'm doing guided fishing trips and they'll say, man, what's the number one secret? Fish finder. Understanding your fish finder. These things are so advanced now. I mean, they can do just about, basically put the bait in front of the fish. So you need to understand your electronics. Now, I'm a hummingbird here. How many people here are hummingbirds? Lawrence guys, most of you. Okay. Uh, this is basically going to be tailored toward hummingbird, but some of the stuff I'm telling you is going to be the same thing to go with Lawrence. Uh, we'll play you a little short video. But this is my bread and butter here. Bait's good, my line's good, all that stuff's important, don't get me wrong. But my fish finder is my most important tool. It's going to tell me water temperature, structure, what fish I'm seeing and what depth they're at. And all that is going to tell me what kind of bait I'm going to use, what kind of line I'm going to use. That's all. That fish finder is going to determine how I'm going to fish. So let's watch this little quick video. All righty, guys, let's get started this morning. I just turned my fish finder on. I'm going to push the exit button. This is going to take me to my 2D sonar. I'm going to go ahead and back my boat on out a little bit. It's early morning here, so to control the brightness, you're just going to go to your power button right here. Press it once, and you can see it brings up the light. And I'm going to do it. It's early morning here, so I'm going to go down to uh, we'll go down to five. I think you can see it fine. So we're going to ease right over here. There's a little ledge. And we're going to ease right over here and see if we can mark some fish this morning and show you um, some of the basic settings and hopefully identify some fish. All right, guys, let's start out with the, the down imaging basic settings. To do that, I'm going to go to my menu button. And you can see here, I'll start at the top. My down sensitivity is 12. My down imaging contrast is 10. Lower range is auto. Chart speed is 5. And then my colors too, but you can change colors if you want. You can go to blue. There's a wide range of colors. I just like two. So there's my down imaging. So now let's go to the 2D sonar, show me my basic settings. Once again, I'm gonna go to menu. My sensitivity is at 10, contrast 12, lower range is auto, chart speed five, and my colors is five. So there's your basic settings on your down imaging with the Mega Imaging Plus and the 2d sonar with the chirp so we're gonna go here and see if we can mark some fish let's take a look at some videos that i did the other day of some fish that i marked take a look at these videos right here we'll fish this morning it's early looks like probably a striper here this is probably a cat go to the down imaging and i'm gonna say this is a sturgeon right here yep tell me Risha, what it is Big fish. It's a sturgeon. You can tell you it's a sturgeon right here. So, this is what a sturgeon looks like on your 2D sonar, and this is what a sturgeon looks like on your down imaging. Zoom in on it, and you can tell. You can see this sturgeon. Right here, you can tell on the 2D. Oh, I see the 2D. But then I go to down imaging, See, and there's two fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's a fish right here at one of our baits. You can see the fish right there, that long green line's our bait. Here's another fish coming up on our bait. If I want to zoom in on that bait, I can go right here with my cursor. This is a little cat. I can tell right off the bat. You can see his belly. His belly looks like mine. I blow it up. 
See a little catfish yeah. right there. You can see his little belly. Mm -hmm. wow. That's, yeah. So he's right there to our bait. Yeah, big old cat right there. We're on down imaging. We're just gonna stroll down to the fish, see if we can get a look at him, see what it is. Yeah, you can see him, big old cat right there. You can see his tail, you can see his head, you can see his whiskers. Big old fish. Big old blue cat. That's him right there. Yeah. As you can see in the fish finder, here's the fish we got hooked up right here. That little green up and down line is the sinker, but there's the fish causing all the commotion. Flathead probably chasing underneath us, but we're going to ease up here and let him sit that fish is still on there. All right, reel him in, bro. Reel down on him. Yeah, he's on there. Yeah, a little blue. Getting bigger. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little nice little blue. Yeah. Stripers in here everywhere this morning. We've caught three really nice, three or four stripers. I don't remember how many we caught. We caught a pile of blues. Little cat right here. Flip it over on down imaging. You can see the fish in here. All right, we're marking some fish right here. We're gonna go to the down imaging, see if we can get a picture there. There's the fish. I don't know if we get a good picture of him or not. We're gonna zoom in on him here. Yeah, right there he is. Looks like a big old striper. You can see his eyes right there. The big eye on the fish, it means it's a sight feeder, he's a striper. So we got a striper underneath us. Underneath the bait, got a little fish there underneath the bait. I was sitting right here, you can see on the 2D fish finder. Here's a big fish we marked right here, so we're going to go to down imaging before he gets gone. And you can tell without even really zooming in what kind of fish it is. We're going to zoom in on it anyway. You can tell it's a big old sturgeon. All probably stripers, but we're gonna go to the down imaging to see. Yep, you can see them. Right here, we're gonna zoom in on them right here. Looks like four or five stripers together. Yep. There they are. All right, we're marking a fish here right here on the 2D sonar, and you can see it's got a pretty bone density with a red showing here. So I'm going to go to down image and you'll see exactly what this fish is. You can see the fish right here. You can probably tell without even zooming in what it is because you can see the nose of the fish. So I'll take my cursor right here and I'm going to go right here and I'm going to blow this thing up. And you can see exactly what that fish is. See his nose right here? Paddlefish. Yeah, you can see the nose on that fish. Big old paddlefish right there this morning. We're marking some fish here this morning. Let's see what we got here. We got a fish right here on the bottom, another fish here with some bone density, and then we got one up top, which I'm suspecting this is probably a striper, but really the only way to tell is go to your down imaging. And let's see here. This is a big long fish, so it's probably a sturgeon. Yeah, not getting a real good image feedback on him. Let's go to uh, let's go up here and see what this fish is. This is, looks like it's a big carp. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is a carp right here. All right, we've got a good fish right here. Looks like maybe two fish. These could be stripers. We're getting a bite on this rod right here. Yeah, these are stripers right here. We've got two big old stripers right here on the bottom. We'll go here and zoom in, show you. It's either two stripers or these are two big cats. Let's see here. These are cats, and the reason you can tell they're catfish, you can see their bellies. See these bellies right there, ma'am? Yeah, there's two big old cats right underneath us. Their bellies look like mine. All right, right here we got a big fish on the bottom. You see the red in him, which is good bone density. But this is going to be a flathead catfish. I'm going to go to 2D sonar, and you can see right here. Watch him right here. He's a 
wanting, he's wanting this rod right here. But you can see this fish laying right on the bottom. He's flat, he don't have no belly. Flathead catfish. Right, we marked one right here on the 2D sonar, right here. I can tell you what it is because I've already cheated and looked, but we're going to go right here and look. Got a catfish right here around my bait. But I'm going to go to the 2D sonar. You can see the fish right there. I can tell what it is without zooming in. It's a paddlefish. I believe. But let's zoom in on it. Yeah. You can see the long nose on him right here. All right, we're getting a bite right here. This is what it looks like on the fish finder. Here's the fish biting the bait. Now, I could actually watch the fish finder right here and tell you when the fish either hooks himself or he quits biting it. He's standing on the bait right here. Looks like he's getting ready to leave it alone. Yep. He hit that bait a little bit right here, and then boom, he's left it alone. Alrighty, guys, we're still sitting here. I hope you've enjoyed the videos I showed you this morning, some of the older videos they had where we're marking fish. Uh, if you got any questions, you can email me at Tennessee River Monsters at yahoo.com, or you can go to Hummingbird at hummingbird.com uh, for technical support. And I also got a guy in Ohio, Catfish Tech, uh, who can give you some technical support on Hummingbird and the Lance Fish Finders. But uh, as you can see, we mark fish. You just check out the new Hummingbird. Helix 12 or the 10 series. This is the Gen 3. But like I say, guys, I appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to our video, and keep your lines tight.